For decades, astronomers have grappled with one of the most profound mysteries of our universe, the nature of dark energy. Accounting for an astonishing 68% of the universe, dark energy remains elusive, while dark matter, 27% of the cosmos, is inferred from its gravitational effects on light and galaxies, dark energy is even more enigmatic, detectable only through its influence on the universe's expansion. Astrophysics reminds us of a staggering fact. 95% of the universe's nature is still a mystery. Yet this uncertainty is what makes the universe so fascinating. This surprising discovery earned a Nobel Prize and prompted further investigations. NASA's Wilkinson Microwave Anisotropy Probe, WMAP, studied the cosmic microwave background radiation, determining that dark energy constituted 72.8% of the universe. ESA's Planck spacecraft refined this figure to 68.3%. Despite these precise measurements, the nature of dark energy remains unknown. Einstein's cosmological constant, initially introduced to explain a static universe and later discarded, has been reconsidered. Perhaps space itself has a repulsive property, exerting outward pressure that accelerates expansion. Virtual particles popping in and out of existence in the vacuum might contribute to this force. Another theory involves quintessence, a hypothetical negative energy field permeating the cosmos. While this idea sounds speculative, it could explain the observed effects. Yet, the truth might lie in concepts physicists haven't even imagined. The standard model of cosmology conceives of a universe made up of 68% dark energy, a mysterious substance about which we know next to nothing. For decades, we've accepted this idea, but new research suggests it might be entirely wrong. It posits that dark energy could be an illusion created by subtle time dilation effects in general relativity. This alternative theory, called timescapes, might explain observations of the local universe better than the dark energy hypothesis. In the late 1990s, astronomers sought to determine if the universe was open or closed, was its expansion slowing down and destined to reverse, or would it continue forever? To answer this, scientists turned to Type 1a supernovae, a specific kind of stellar explosion. Unlike other supernovae, Type 1a events occur when a white dwarf in a binary system siphons material from its companion until it reaches a critical mass 1.6 times the sun's mass, and explodes with consistent energy output. This consistency allows astronomers to measure their distance based on brightness. The expectation was that the universe's expansion was slowing down. However, what they discovered was truly groundbreaking. Instead of deceleration, the expansion of the universe was accelerating. Imagine observing apples fall from a tree only to find them flying upward instead. To backtrack, in 2011, the Nobel Prize in Physics was awarded for the discovery that the universe is not only expanding, but that its expansion is accelerating. The research relied on Type 1 A supernovae, which serve as standard candles due to their consistent intrinsic brightness. By measuring their apparent brightness, astronomers could estimate their distance, and their redshift, how spectral lines shift, revealed their velocity. Since Edwin Hubble's time, we've known that more distant objects move away faster, a manifestation of the universe's expansion. However, the 2011 discovery showed that this expansion was accelerating, leading to the dark energy hypothesis, a mysterious, force comprising the majority of the universe's mass energy content. The standard model of cosmology, known as Lambda CDM, Lambda CDM incorporates dark energy, Lambda, and cold dark matter, CDM. It assumes the universe is isotropic and homogeneous on large scales, 
smoothing out the complexities of stars, galaxies, and superclusters. This simplification makes the mathematics more tractable, leading to Einstein's field equations and the Friedman equations. The lambda term, representing dark energy, is often considered a fudge factor introduced by Einstein to stabilize a static universe. Despite its ad hoc origins, lambda, CDM, has successfully explained a wide range of observations. However, astronomers constantly test established theories. A new paper by Antonio Safer and colleagues, published in December 2024, challenges Lambda CDM by analyzing the Pantheon Plus catalog of Type 1 A supernovae. This gold standard dataset appears to match predictions from the Timescapes model better than those from Lambda CDM. Timescapes, developed by physicist David Wiltshire, rejects the assumption of a smoothed out universe. Instead, it accounts for the large-scale structures like voids and filaments which have emerged as the universe evolved. Wiltshire argues that voids expand faster than denser regions because they experience less gravitational pull. This differential expansion stretches light passing through these regions, causing an anomalous redshift. Additionally, Time dilation, a relativistic effect where time ticks slower in stronger gravitational fields, creates further distortions. Light traveling from voids into denser regions gains energy, blue shifts, but not enough to counteract the redshift, creating a net redshift. This cumulative effect gives the illusion of an accelerating universe. Safair's team compared timescapes and lambda CDM predictions against the Pantheon Plus catalog. Although Timescapes' mathematics is more complex and lacks some corrections, the model showed strong agreement with the data, with a preference at the three sigma level. While this isn't definitive, it's compelling. When closer supernovae were excluded, the preference for Timescapes decreased slightly but remained significant. Despite these results, Timescapes is not ready to dethrone Lambda C DM. The latter explains much more than just supernova observations from the cosmic microwave background to galaxy cluster distributions. However, the allure of timescapes lies in its ability to address the fudge factor problem of dark energy. If future research confirms its predictions across different datasets, it could radically reshape our understanding of the universe. As Dr. Ryan Ridden, an astronomer involved in the study, puts it, have we proven there is no dark energy? Not yet. What we've shown is that supernova data is now good enough to seriously test Lambda CDM. Timescapes looks promising, but Lambda CDM remains an incredibly successful theory. The next step is to test timescapes against diverse observations. If dark energy isn't real, the universe's fate could change dramatically. Scientists are always probing established ideas, seeking cracks to explore. This self-correcting nature of science is its strength. If Timescapes proves correct, it would represent a seismic shift in cosmology, a challenge to the fundamental understanding of our universe.